Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Oha Kade, I'm a composer, and today we're going to be checking out Lemon by Kenshi Yonezu. He is a Japanese artist, I believe, and this is my first time listening to him. We are going to be looking at the music video, and we're also going to be doing a lyrical analysis. I have been told that this song is part of an OST for a drama called Unnatural. Let's get right into it. Wow, um, I'm <laughs> really impressed. Uh, that is a really catchy song. Uh, it takes from a lot of different influences. I'm hearing pop, I'm hearing alternative rock, I'm hearing hip hop. Yeah, very catchy, very strong songwriting. Um, I love how it opened up with what sounds like to me like a very hip hop beat with some quirky sounds in the background that was a little like uh, every other beat, I'm not really sure what that's about, but it was a really quirky touch. Uh, you can tell that this song is intended to be somewhat emotional, but also uh, uplifting. You know what it reminds me of? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who sings this song. It's an American pop artist, and it's a sort of a one-hit wonder that was big many years ago. But it, it's that song. You had a bad day, and na 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 na. You know that song? It has a sort of similar vibe to that one. No, I'm not saying that this song ripped that song off at all. I think this song is a way better song and the vocal melodies are a lot more pleasing in this song. His vocal performance is way more captivating. He definitely has some quirks in his performance. Uh, there was something there at the beginning that I want to point out. <laughs> Also, there's some nice dissonant chords in here. Like that chord was quite dissonant and unexpected. Right there. And there's that what? I love those guitars in the side. There's a sort of a haunting quality to them that is really pleasing to me. Da, 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 da. It's kind of like casual and he's sort of playing with it. I like that sort of vocal delivery. It has a lot of personality. The music video is cool. I like how it's cropped. It sort of gives it a sort of a retro vibe when even if the music video is wide, if they sort of crop it square, it really helps you to focus on what's going on in the frame. We have a really cool interpretive dancer. And I also like how he's wearing... Um, heels in this video. I'm not sure if his style is usually gender fluid like that or if it lends itself to the drama it's referencing or uh, maybe the lyrics. I'm curious about that but he can pull off those heels majorly. <laughs> yeah th and then this scene is a little more somber. Very interesting. Let's keep it going.
Like, the musicianship in this song is so beautiful and pretty. Just that really soft moment with the piano, the little plucking on the guitars, uh, beautiful awareness to give us a little bit of space and to just think in that second, really gorgeous. <laughs> That transition was awesome. Let me hear that again. Just the transition there from the end of the chorus into this bridge was so awesome. I really have to analyze that part. Compositionally, the emotional switch there, it was a little bit jarring, but it was so appropriate and jarring, but smooth. And I, I love that type of unexpected flavor in songs. And I also love how there's a difference in the, the drum production between the verses and the chorus. The verses do have a little bit more of a hip hop thing going on and then the chorus has like a wider drum sound with lots of reverb, like it's filling the room and the verses have a little bit of a more pointed drum production. Overall, it's a very creative song. It Overall, it is very commercial sounding and, and poppy, but it has little small details of experimental flavors that I'm very much appreciating. And also his vocals are outstanding. I don't think I'm talking about his vocals enough. He's showing a lot of uh, range too, especially in the chorus. There's a little bit of falsetto that he's doing. Yeah, excellent voice, really speaks to me, even though I don't understand the lyrics. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think he might have a new fan. It was just so well composed, that song. His vocal performance was outstanding. Uh, the musicianship was crazy. That string part at the end really got me. Again, lots of great moments in this track to appreciate and enjoy, I'm sure even more on multiple listens. I wanna check out more of his stuff. So I'll either do it in my own time or on the channel, depending on how well this video does. So if you're a Kenshi Yonezu fan, give me all the tea, all the details and your favorite tracks by him. Let me know what else you would like to see. Uh, as for the music video, I thought it was very interesting. The more I was watching it, the more I was getting like an, uh, an AA vibe, 
Alcoholics Anonymous. Does that have something to do with the meaning or the story of the show? It looked like an AA meeting to me and the interpretive dancing could have been symbolic of all of their support for each other, all of the, the members of the meeting. That's pretty cool. If so, if not, um, you know, let me know what was intended by the song. It's also possible that all will be revealed in the lyrics. So let's check those out. Here we go. How I wish it were only a dream. Even now I still dream of you. I brush the dust off from old memories, like returning home to retrieve a forgotten item. In the end, it was you who taught me that. Some happiness can't be reclaimed. My dark hidden past I dared not speak of. Without you, they would have remained forever dark. I know there is no way I could ever hurt more than I do now. Even the sadness from that day, even the pain from that day, I loved it all together with you. The bitter scent of lemons remains embedded in my heart. Can't make my way home till the rain lets up. Even now you remain my light. Yeah, it it's pretty straightforward. He is missing this person who he had a relationship with where the relationship was ended, presumably by this other person. He has a lot of regrets. He misses them a lot and he still loves them to this day. He says, even now you remain my light. And when he refers to the sadness from that day, he says he loved it all, meaning even the moment when this person was telling him they didn't want to be with him any, anymore, he loved it because at least they were still with him. Very heartbreaking stuff. There could be some meaning I'm not getting, but that's what it seems to me so far. Next verse. In the darkness, I traced the outlines of your back. I remember its contour so clearly. Every time I encounter something that's all too overwhelming, it's the tears that won't stop overflowing. What were you doing? What were you watching? Your face in profile with a look I'd never seen. Could be alluding to the fact that this person was admiring someone else with their face in profile, like looking at something else and not at him. If you are out there somewhere now, lost in the same tears, the same loneliness as I, please won't you just erase me from your memory. This I pray. For from the bottom of my heart, even now, you remain my light. Yeah, he's totally lost without this person. And he hopes that they can forget him, probably because he knows how painful it is that he can't forget them. Here's the bridge. More than I knew, I was in love with you. Since then, I can't breathe easy. It seems so unreal. How you were always by my side back then, but I will never forget that is the certain truth. Even the sadness from that day, even the pain from that day, I loved it all together with you. The bitter scent of lemons remains embedded in my heart. That's the one metaphor I don't understand. The bitter scent of lemons. Is it just kind of symbolic of the bitterness uh, in his heart? Or is it something, maybe a reference to the show? <laughs> maybe. Maybe there's a scene where this couple has an argument and starts throwing lemons at each other. Let me know about that. Uh, can't, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm laughing at the idea of that. Okay, can't make my way home till the rain lets up like a piece of sliced fruit. Even now you remain my light. Like a piece of sliced fruit. There it is again. So the, the lemon thing, there's got to be something going on there. Lemon fight, lemon fight. <laughs> oh my God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Okay, seriously though, seriously. So another uh, thing that came to mind is, <laughs> if I could just stop thinking about lemon fights for a second. Now, you know when you have the giggles and it's just there and then you can't stop? I feel like one of those news reporters in those uh, bloopers on TikTok. Sorry, one other thing that came to mind is there was a line here that said, my dark hidden past I dared not speak of. That could be alluding to alcoholism, potentially, if I were to piece this and the uh, music video together. He could be alluding to something like that, and it's possible that once his partner found out about this past, something he did when he was at the uh, worst stage, uh, rock bottom, that they decided they had to end it. And that would be terribly unfortunate, especially if he had become a changed man by then, but what can you do? Okay, thank you so much to the anonymous patron who suggested this song. Again, I'm a new fan. I really enjoyed this track and I'll be checking out more, hopefully on the channel. Let me know. If you'd also like to become a patron or submit a special request, the links are in the description. 
Please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much, and take care.